Hello and welcome to another edition of Rarer Hot Wheels and part 4 of the 48 Black Wolves mini-series. Now, in this last uh, week, things have slowed down somewhat with the with the bits and pieces here on the Hot Wheels and Diecast front because we've been helping the kids move out. They've got their own flat the other side of town, which has now freed up a new man cave, which is about twice the size of this one, maybe a bit bigger, so uh, I have room for more Hot Wheels and more Diecast. But seriously, it gives me room to move, whereas in here I can only just breathe. And uh, also allows me to set my amateur radio gear up and do a lot more. Also in this last week, and let's just move the camera down a wee bit. Oh, there we go. In the last week, uh, an engine crane's arrived, engine stand's arrived. Lots of bits and pieces uh, of engine, nuts and bolts and all sorts. Uh, have all turned up on the doorstep in anticipation of the arrival of my 327 Chevy V8 which will slow things on here down even more because I'm going to be rebuilding the thing over the next couple of months ready to go in my Audi. Anyway, if you haven't subscribed already, please do. Somewhere up here, or down here, somewhere, whether you're on a phone, computer or tablet, there is a subscribe button. And if I look at the, the cards and things at the end of this as I upload it, apparently I can upload a or set a uh, subscribe button up here somewhere. Uh, or it might be down there, don't know, uh, you'll have to find it when I do it, but please do subscribe if you haven't already. You don't have to press the bell, because the bell tells you every time I upload it, and I'll probably end up blocking up your newsfeed on YouTube. So, if you just want to happen across my videos, feel free, but please do still subscribe, at least then I know how many people are regularly watching. Anyway, on with the show. So, this time we're going to have a look at another eight Hot Wheels from the Black Wars era. Um, I've got to say that most of the ones I've been looking at so far, the 24 done up till now, they've been mostly Larry Wood castings, and a lot of them have been Ultra Hots castings as well, with the futuristic sort of disc wheels with slots in them. And this show's going to be no different. So, at least I don't know yet if it's going to be that different, because I've not looked into who's made them yet. But that will come. So, let's get on and have a look. What have we got in the box this time? Let's look at another, um, let's have a look at the next eight. So should I start at this end or that end? Yeah, uh, let's start here. Yes, we've all heard jokes about the Oscar Myers Wiener. Oh, here's his car. And uh, looking at the wheels on it, I'm just blinding myself with the camera. These look like um, black centered black walls on it. So, uh, not a bad machine. Again, this out of this box, most of what's in there seems to be in very good condition. A couple of them have been damaged, and I think that got happened in transit because a few of the layers in the box were broken. And I think that was how the Lamborghini, a few shows back, ended up with a bent rear wing. But the Oscar Mayer car in bright yellow with a sausage on top. How cool! And here it is, Harry Bradley's sausage. I mean, the Oscar Mayer Wiener Mobile. This is quite, a new, quite an unusual casting, and it was introduced in 1993, ran through till 2010. In 1993, there were two variants of this on the introduction, uh, one with black walls in the usual style with the chrome centers, and one with black walls with black centers, and this is the black centered black wall version. Now we go on to something I believe was a Larry Wood. Something I've noticed actually, with a lot of the Ultra Hot Zero cars, they don't have interiors, they have blacked out glass. There, look, see? And uh, it's not something I've noticed before. I suppose this is the first time I started reviewing them. But, there's another one. There we go, it's uh, an old truck, a nice, uh, nice little pickup truck. Again, running Ultra Hot wheels. Really nice, nice smooth, and with graphics typical of the 1980s and 90s. I remember all the pro street cars that were popping out around 1990 and all the custom car and hot rod magazines that all had all these wonderful super graphics that were very much in your face and bright colours, a real product of the 80s. And yes indeedy, the 56 Flash Slider is indeed a Larry Wood casting and is based on a custom 1956 Chevy pickup. Introduced in 1992, this is the introduction model in the Pell Aqua colour with the 80s graphics. This is pretty cool as 80s and 90s customs go.
next to your cars. A car that can make you an annoying driver. No, nope, just joking, we have a BMW. A BMW with the 8 series, 850, 840, one of those. And uh, again, it's a lovely neck. And look down the side here, it's got those uh, 80s graphics on it. Again, 80s into the 90s, so uh, very much a product of its time. But once again, in very good condition. Although it appears that the tail lights, which should, uh, well, I'll say should be red, have faded, but they haven't, because I just realised they're actually part of the interior, which is actually quite nicely detailed. Look at those seats. Very nice. The BMW 850i had a 10 year production run, going from 1991 through to 2001. I have to say, the 80s style graphics and ultra hot wheels really suit the uh, 80s design wedgie BMW 850 coupe. on to my favourite sort of cars, we have a hot rod running black walls, bigs and littles and a nice huge blown motor on the front of it, nice red uh, interior with a typically fab T style upright steering wheel, uh, got the old box on the back but what a nice little car, what a lovely little car, I'll tell you more about these and the rest when I'll whack them on the turntable in a bit. Now, unsurprisingly, this Larry Wood design is called a tea bucket and was introduced back in 1989. This one is one of the original 1989 releases, and there were two variants this, the yellow one, and an orange one. No, no, we don't have. That's just rolled across my box. Now we have this. We have a truck, which I'm having difficulty getting out of the box. There. It is a Hot Wheels Recovery transporter. I'm guessing it's. Uh, doesn't see what it is underneath. As per usual with the cars of this area, I have no idea what it is until I look it up. But I'm guessing it's a Peterbilt or something like that. Really nice looking truck with a. A tipping bed on the back of it, which is a bit of a strange thing, but I'm not sure if it should tip, but it does. And again, running on black walls, really, really nice, lovely casting. That this casting is actually called the Ramp Truck, and it was designed by Harry Wood. Introduced in 1991, this is a 1992 example and marks the last year that the truck was fitted with black wall wheels. Production ended in 2001 with a final run edition. And then sticking with the utility vehicle theme, we have this. Yes, we have the good humor ice cream truck. And I've got a few of these dotted around, um, but never, I don't have one in this condition. What nice condition it is. This, there's no mark on it. I mean, I'm going to have to be careful when I store this. But what, what a lovely little car. And um, I know you can tell the year of these by what's on the, uh, the advertising boards on the sides of it. So um, I will be looking that up and giving you all of the information I can find on it. And so, my dear Watson, my investigation has concluded by matter of deduction that this is a 1988 example. And I come to that conclusion with the red stripes on the Good Humor ice cream boards at the top of each side. And orange, written on white in red. Larry Wood's Good Humor was introduced in 1984 and is still going strong today under many aliases. And again with utility vehicles, we have this. Hot Wheels Rescue Unit, Emergency Truck, Fire Truck. That's pretty cool. Nice detail on this as well. And uh, yeah, lovely car. And I'm guessing that's probably from the early 90s. 
Although it could be the late 80s, could be even older, judging by the condition of the cars in here, these have been looked after very well. And again, it looks nice on the uh, on the black wall wheels. Rescue Ranger, as this is known, was yet another Larry Wood design and was introduced in 1986. This 1988 example is one of three different variations it came out in that year. And Rescue Ranger is still made nowadays. And the final one for this outing, or for this show, is this. Another fire truck, but a proper fire truck this time. And uh, there we go. We're getting on black walls. And uh, when we were out in the States last year, no, last year, where are we now? 2020. In 2018, the tail end, it was my partner's, um, or my partner and I's first visit together. And she'd never seen an American fire engine, and whilst we were in DC, one of them came down the road and went uh, with sirens blaring and lights going and she was quite taken back by how cool looking the fire brigade chucks are in America and uh, all the best to the firefighters out there especially you guys out in Australia who are putting out the fires and uh, I hope everybody recovers from this at times sad for the animals this fire engine is known as fire eater and is once again a Larry Wood design Introduced way back in 1977 as a red line, this example comes from 1982. Fire Eater has proven to be a very popular casting, and it still pops out from time to time these days, and the kids love it. Right then, that's all for this time. So, I must thank you for watching and uh, yeah. yeah well thanks very much for watching um, come back soon and we'll have a look at these Hot Wheels cars another eight from the 24 remaining so that uh, sorry from the 16 I can't count um, so it'll be another eight from the 16 that are remaining so that means there will be two more shows ahead and in the next show there are some pretty nice castings once more so take care again thanks for watching Toodle pip.